Welcome to Creative Living with Lynn Lilly. I'm so excited to continue our series of At Home with My Favorite Makers. If you're tuning in for the first time, each week I am going home with one of my maker friends from across the country. And this week, I am introducing you to Kristen from A Girl and Her Glitter. Kristen and I met a few years ago at an event where neither one of us knew anyone and we literally gravitated towards each other and I have fallen in love with this girl. She is so talented and I've been lucky to follow her story and call her a friend. So I can't wait for you to experience her glitter. But before we get started, I would love to know who's watching. So tell me in the comments where you're watching from and if you've got a question for Kristen, feel free to post that as well and we'll make sure she gets back to you. All right, you guys ready? Let's go say hi to Kristen. Kristen, how are you? Hey, Lynn. I'm so excited to see you again. I know we just saw each other in Palm Springs, which, didn't that feel like years ago? It feels like a lifetime ago, even though I'm thankful we had that trip because that was before kind of the world went sideways. I mean, it was like the end of that week. It really was. Like, we got home just in time before, like, pandemonium started to happen. I'm so glad we were able to go. Yeah. I know. Me too. I keep talking to other friends that were there and we're like, thank God we had that trip. Like it helps with my sanity of having that like week of clarity and relaxation and creativity or I don't know if I'd be so, making it right now. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So for our audience that doesn't follow you or know you, we're going to do a quick, literally like 30 seconds, might be a little longer than 30 seconds, but icebreaker. So I'm going to give you options and no explanation needed. Just tell me which one of the two options I give you. Okay. Got it? Got it. All right. Beach or mountain? Mountain. Crazy because you live in Florida. <laughs> oh, I hate the, I hate the beach. <laughs> um, paper or fabric? Paper. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Acrylic or watercolor paint? Acrylic. So or no so? No so, ever. <laughs> Girl, me too. Um, coffee or wine? Coffee. Heels or flats? Heels. Pen or pencil? Pen. Text or call? Text. Comedy or romance? Comedy. Lipstick or lip gloss? Lipstick. Okay, and last one, road trip or sky miles? Love a good road trip. All right. I know. Most everyone has been choosing road trip, and I don't know if that's because no one wants to get on a plane right now. <laughs> no, each, no, each year my family drives to Iowa from Florida for the summer, and it's one of my favorite things. So I just love road trips. That's awesome. I like road trips too, except I have to pee all the time. So like, they take us like 10 times longer than they should because I always have to stop. And it doesn't help that I like to always be drinking something. Right. So... No, my kids know that they can't drink anything. Like, we dehydrate them completely on this road trip. <laughs> no liquids whatsoever. No. Okay, so you have been making and creating for a very long time. Yes. I'd love to kind of know where your career started and how you got to where you are now. Oh, okay. So, it's I'm going to very much shorten this. Okay. But when I was in high school, all of my older siblings are doctors and lawyers. And my dad thought that was my path as well. It wasn't. And I actually went to a catering company to work a job in high school and fell in love with going to a different event every weekend. And I fell in love specifically with like weddings and event design. I went right up to a wedding planner and said, how do I get to do what you do? And she said, come intern for us. And that was when internships were unpaid uh -huh. and a year long. And I fell in love with it. So then I became exclusively um, a wedding planner. And then I started, I've always loved art. I've always used my hands. Mm -hmm. So it was like a creative outlet. I eventually took over that company and owned a successful Orlando, Florida-based wedding planning company, but just... I didn't love all the paperwork and the business side of it. And I loved making all the details. So I thought, well, I'm always going to use my hands. So why don't we just take a leap of faith and open up a girl in her glitter? And it kind of took off because that was three years ago. <laughs> That's amazing. And I think I met you probably three, right when that was starting, right? That's, I didn't even have a blog yet. I didn't really have a name when we met at Michael's, right? It's the cricket event. In, remember cricket. Was, yeah, cricket, but we were with That's him. right. We were right. like three people that knew no one. So 
so we stuck exactly. together. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that was at the beginning because Cricket approached me and said, can you do blog work for us, like content? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I should probably get a blog. <laughs> <laughs> and that's I, what I meant. Like, sure. And then I'll figure it out, right? <laughs> and then I felt so lonely at that Cricket event and you were in the lobby and you just had this big smile and you're like, let's hang out. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. We were the girls who didn't know anyone, and hey, we still had fun, right? Yep, worked out. Okay, so what is your favorite type of project to make? And I know you do a lot of stuff, but what's your favorite? I like the big picture things. I don't love, like, a little. I, I like the details, but mm -hmm. I like big picture, like, big moments. Uh, recently, I did, like, the ombre painting in my kids craft closet and people lost their minds but I just like I don't like to do little I like to do big like my signature paper flowers like it just anything that's a big impact that's what I like that's my favorite well cool. yeah I noticed all of your work is huge which is just <laughs> so cool because a lot of people don't tackle huge they're right. very much like small crafters like I'm I'm probably a small medium, but like your huge stuff is amazing. Like, thank you. And like, how did she do that? It's so pretty. Bigger is better. It, <laughs> in more ways than one, right? Um, <laughs> all right. So you've done a lot of cool TV projects along the way here and there. Can you tell me about your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. And if there's more than uh, one, okay. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few. Um, I represented Michaels as their paper ambassador. I'm waiting for my paper stash uh, for blueprint.com. That stash is not coming by the way. But um, because of blueprint, I got the opportunity to be the event planner for their restaurant wars on Top Chef, which is an NBC owned. Mm -hmm. That was the most stressful, but like coolest thing, I think. Um, and then they asked me to do the show that I'm sure we'll talk about. And then um, the Today Show, which I think was like the height of my career, I should say, when I threw Jenna Bush Hagar's baby shower on the Today Show. It was, it was, it was fun. I think that would be it. The, what is the pressure like to throw a baby shower on national TV for Jenna Bush Hagar? <laughs> like, well, so it was last year, right during Haven, and I had talked to Haven, which is that conference that, you know, um, uh, I go to, I think you've been to it. And um, I was doing a huge backdrop of my paper flowers when, when Blueprint asked if I would represent them for today's show. So I had to drive to Georgia, set up the backdrop from Georgia, fly to New York City. So everything I made, I made in a hotel room. So it wasn't, I didn't have time to worry about the pressure of actually being on the Today Show. It was making things and making them, you know, Today Show perfect. Right. So by the time we hit play, I, I think I blacked out. So I'm not really sure what I did, but it, <laughs> but you know, we, you and I, we love pressure like that. We strive under it. So it was, the fun it was good. I yeah. And that segment was amazing, by the way. It was so good. I watched it live. You were great. Um, so everything you make looks so good, but I am sure behind the scenes, there might be some craft fails. So do you have a memorable craft fail? Because I like to share those because it makes us real, right? Because everyone makes mistakes. Oh yeah. I show mine all the time. Like if you, once we talk about my Instagram, if you go on my stories, I will always show you how I fail. I fail the most in the kitchen. I'm not going to lie. But with crafting and art stuff, I am a really good faker. Like, I'll be like, oh, this is what I meant to do, and I'll turn it into something different. But I would say the biggest fail, oh, my goodness, what would be my biggest fail? Oh, my gosh, I don't know, because I always just twist it into something that it should have been. Uh -huh. I just go, oh, that worked out for the best. That's right. But I don't think I've ever just scrapped a project and been like, I'm done. I hate it. I think I just, I'm good at just making it be what it was supposed to be the whole time. That's good craftsmanship, right? You know how to, how to turn the ship before it sinks. <laughs> but I do show people all the fails and how to kind of fix it on my Instagram. I just can't think of one big one. I think every new project I try fail first and then you just turn it into something and that's how it develops into something else. 
Well, that's our job, right? To teach people. We take the fails and figure out how to do it the right way. (laughs) Yeah, this is how not to do it. (laughs) Yeah, this is how not to do it. Um, Okay, so you did mention a show that you did with Blueprint. Um, So tell me about that show because I watched some of the episodes and you're fabulous and hilarious as always. So tell our viewers a little bit about that show and that they can still watch it. You can still watch it, definitely. It's on myblueprint.com, which is a great NBC uh, streaming network. It's all about watching and learning. Mm-hmm. Like you actually do, you don't just sit and absorb it. And uh, there was, there's a guy, his name is Joshua John Russell, who runs Men About Cake for Blueprint. And his show got so big on YouTube that people were writing in saying, where are these cakes going to? Mm-hmm. So then it got Blueprint thinking, well, they should go somewhere. So I was one of the people he was to interview. I was his first interview. We interviewed, we got along like brother and sister and he canceled all the rest of the interviews and I got the gig. I throw the parties, I do everything. And literally Joshua just shows up with food and cake, but that's fine. But together, because I fail in the kitchen, it's totally okay. But it it's a show where I show you how to throw a party and how to actually make the details, the backdrops, like I walk you through it. It's not just, hey, look at this pretty party. It's, hey, look at this balloon structure. Here's how I made it out of chicken wire and PVC pipe. So it's it's information that you can take with you. So I love that show. Yeah, I love um, that show. What was your favorite episode? My favorite turned out to be the office party. I thought it was gonna be, there's a whole episode called Gotcha Day. When you adopt a pet, you don't really know how old they are. So you celebrate the day you got them. And it was outside. It was beautiful. It was cute uh, with the big giant pinwheel backdrop. It was really pretty. But I think the office party, because we all have those plain office spaces with the low ceilings, you know, and I was able to turn it into like a winter wonderland. For example, all of the like half of the office was covered in windows Mm -hmm. and just get washable paint and paint a winter scene. Like it was just, it was really fun. It was, that one was probably my favorite because it was the one I didn't like the most for the idea. Yeah. Well, viewers, community, you guys have got to go watch a show. It's great ideas and information and super entertaining, which is a perfect combination. (laughs) Right. And what you see on there between Joshua and I is unscripted. That whole show is unscripted. We're just, you know, hey, here's your project. Talk about it. So any interaction you see, that's that's authentic. That's like great. when I dressed up in a hot dog, like I'm a hot dog in one of the episodes because I thought that was funny. <laughs> Amazing. You were yeah. probably the prettiest hot dog of all time. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so you're obviously super creative, but now has been a crazy time when everyone's kind of been stuck indoors. What has been your creative outlet? And maybe it's not exactly making things, but what's your outlet to stay sane right now? Ironically, I didn't used to craft with my kids. Like I see on your stories all the time, you are always making with Lily. And I don't like making with my kids because I like things to be correct. Uh And so opening up a certain time in my day where we do art Mm -hmm. has really brought us together and made, made creating more sentimental if that's what you will. And then also I have a nine-year-old that loves to draw. And the fact that I sit with him now and I teach him about shading and balancing, I wouldn't have done that being so busy. And we're doing a lot of baking. So I would say baking and actually crafting with my kids, you would think it'd be something separate from my kids, but it's been really good and definitely been grounding me. And that's what making is about, like sharing it with other people, especially little minds. So they can learn skills and I don't, it's. Yeah, Yeah, it definitely is mind blowing when Lily realized that she could paint with a paintbrush for the first time versus her hands. Like she was like, ooh, like the fact that she really, she could dip her brush in the paint and make the paint strokes. But I get the, I'm the same way. Like I like things to be perfect. So it really is a challenge to just be like, you're going to do whatever, but it's a let go, right? You're like, oh, it is sentimental. And I think it helps us be more sentimental, I think, with our kids, for sure. Absolutely. And I, what I, what I gathered in my own brain about it is that 
creating for us is a job. It's a dream job. Yep. But I have to separate like what I'm doing for my kids is not for work. Yep. You know, and that helps. That helps, you know, make it a different thing. So yep. absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to mention this and ask you about this because my husband and I were a big fan of these. So <laughs> something besides crafting and baking that you're doing with your kids has to do with story time. So how are you guys about this? Because this, like, we must have watched them multiple times. Like, we were dying laughing. These are so great. Okay. So, Lola is a big time storyteller. Lola is my four year old daughter with like the Minnie Mouse, mouth, you know, speaking okay. voice right now, which we know it's going to go away. Like, me having older kids, I really do realize looking back at old videos, you miss their voice. So, she, Lola tells the best stories, very creative, but it was starting to drive me nuts. So I started to think, how can I make this something fun? So my older kids make all the props. They set up the whole story. And then I tell the story, but using Lola's voice through my adult body. And it's really funny because it only takes us a couple hours. And since though, we've only made two. And Lola said she's now done with stories. Retired. But... This morning, she said she's willing to do more stories, and she gave us a concert yesterday that we were able to record, so you'll have to look for My Little Pony concert that is coming very soon. <laughs> yes, you guys, you have to go watch these. I watched them on your Facebook. Are they on Instagram, too? They're on my IGTV, Okay. because that's what I use it for. <laughs> okay, guys, go watch them. They are, like, the best five minutes of entertainment you will have all day. It's, it's so good. Like... I don't know how like that has not like someone like at today's show or GMA has not picked that up because <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. Like a genius. Pretty good. Yeah. It's like adult and kid humor combined. I love it. It is. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so I've been following some of the home projects you've been doing. Is there a favorite that you've worked on in the last few weeks? Oh, for sure. My fireplace makeover. And the, before I even start talking, nothing was wrong with our fireplace before. The idea of our house was more meant of a log cabin, but I have since then, since two years ago, buying our home, taken out a lot of the warm woods and it just left this fireplace that had those big stones with the deep grooves. Mm -hmm. And it's just not my style for my home. So I was able to, I bought mortar months ago. Mm -hmm. And since we're quarantined, I was like, well, what time is better than this? So I filled all those grooves with mortar and then sanded it down for a couple of weeks and then added lime wash. But the transformation is, it's stunning. It was absolutely worth it. But that's my definite favorite home project to date, because when you walk in, that's what you see. And it sets the tone now, a much cooler, like in color wise, not like cool, but you know what I mean? Great. It looks really, really good. It was a, a huge transformation. It looks fantastic. Thank you. So is there something you're working on that you're excited about? Anything right about now, I am working on launching, finally, a YouTube on just my videos because I get a lot of feedback of, hey, cool event design or cool that you did that. How does that apply to me? How can I make that into my life? So I'm doing a YouTube and I just did painted vinyl yesterday. A lot of people don't think that you can actually just take paint and paint your vinyl like it's like a crazy <laughs> idea and I did it for a photo shoot uh -huh. and I filmed it all and that will be launching this weekend cool. on YouTube yeah, yeah. go paint so, your vinyl yeah that's awesome is your YouTube just a girl in her glitter a girl in her glitter that's what it is that's awesome I'm so excited to watch uh, okay so before we wrap up can you tell us about your backdrop that you created behind you Ooh, so my, my backdrop I made specifically for my YouTube. So when I'm standing here, you can just kind of, see, you know, just know by seeing a clip, oh, that's Kristen's craft room. Uh -huh. And we're in my garage, by the way. But I was trying to think of what I wanted my backdrop to look like. And it just occurred to me I should use all the things that I normally use. So at the very top, which is kind of cut off, it's just painted full black. And I just... I'm, I am not a super bright person. I know I am personality wise, but I aesthetically just love neutrals and black and white. 
So that's why I wanted to do, plus I want my projects to kind of pop and take center stage. So we went black paintbrushes. Those are black pencils, those little lines right there. And then the grid is black yarn because these are things I use. Yep. Then scissors, glue gun. These little spurt things are actual glue sticks. I just chopped them up and made them look like little fireworks. And then some just stand paper. So it's just it's just what I use. And then I have an acrylic over top put on with two inch grommet. So it comes off the wall. And then of course I cricketed my logo right on top. It looks <laughs> awesome. Very creative, no surprise. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, before we wrap up, remind our viewers where they can follow you. Let's remind them again about your new YouTube channel and then where they can follow you, website, social, all that fun stuff. All right, YouTube will be a girl in her glitter. Social media, Facebook is a girl in her glitter, like <laughs> Facebook backslash a girl in her glitter. And then Instagram is at a girl in her glitter. <laughs> and then Pinterest, it's also, it's A-G-H glitter because you can't fit it all. It's too long. But <laughs> I think that's it. I don't know. I'm, you know me, I'm trying to get better at like being a business person because I love to just create the content and I'm trying to slow down and actually like be better. <laughs> at I think your realness is what makes people like you. Um, so no doubt about that. You're going to be successful in everything that you do because you're super talented. Well, you're going to like my YouTube because it's a little sarcastic. And yeah. it has like, yeah. like it's are. not your normal, this is how you do it. It's yeah. very. I, you are one of the funniest people I know. Like I <laughs> laugh not, I laughed more with you at when we were in Palm Springs than anyone else. Cause you're freaking hilarious. <laughs> Cause of my under, under the breath comments and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Crafts and laughs, right? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That should be a new segment. Yeah. You can use <laughs> All right, Kristen. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. Um, hey, thank you. Yeah, I wish you all the best. Stay safe. You Enjoy too. your time at home. And I'll be checking out your YouTube that comes out this week. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Lynn. Um, bye, girls. <laughs>